What is up, the LEGO fans? Welcome back. Alex here, walking down into the basement. It's kind of dark right now. Got to turn some lights on. Let's do that. First update here is going to be some new lights. Put these uh, nice 5000K lights in here. It's a kind of a daylight look, so it illuminates the uh, Formula One cars a lot better. I like that. Much better look. Let's go ahead and turn some lights on. Got a little bit of daylight left. Springtime is trying to come around here, but it's definitely still February. Very cold outside. The days are still pretty short. Turn on those LEDs. Looks good there. Let's turn on the lights down here as well and let you guys know what's going on here. First and foremost, we got to talk about castle theme. So the castle theme, as you guys know, is very sluggish and I've been procrastinating the heck out of uh, adding the, uh, the lake and water uh, to this thing because I was just been, I've been scared that uh, I will end up moving stuff, but uh, I'm not. Everything's pretty much static. Uh, so I am going to, by the end of this video, start make or complete the cuts of all the felt um, to show the water underneath. So this is going to be a pretty cool uh, before and after. So right now it's very, very green. Uh, but once we make those cuts, it should look uh, very good with all the blue in it. Right now, just the only blue that I have here is this little pond uh, in the farm area. So that's what we got right now. So uh, anyway, so that is one thing that we'll definitely do here. Also, want to show you guys something else. Let me turn this light on so the lights will warm up in there because I want to show you guys something in there in just a moment. Before we do, though, got to bring you up to date on this area here. So I took out the, uh, the racetrack that was kind of laid down here uh, because I'm, I'm still going to do it, but we're going to make some changes to it. I thought about uh, the, uh, the space under here, and I thought, you know what? It would be really cool if I could actually expand down here and do other things. So I've been working on getting a lot of the boxes that were here, a lot of the empty uh, Lego boxes, and you, you can kind of see the outline of the carpet there from them. Uh, but I moved them, uh, most of them, actually over there underneath the uh, uh, the downtown area. There's some space there, so I was trying to make as much room over there as possible for them. I still got my little tunnel there underneath the, uh, the downtown area, uh, so I can access that when needed. Uh, so I moved a lot down there, and the reason for that was because I wanted to see if I can fit both a racetrack as well as my mid-90s uh, subspace themes. Uh, so, that being said, let me show you guys what's going on in the other room. So, in here, as you guys know, I was very happy to be able to get uh, all of these LEGO uh, collections out, you know, for, for 90s space sub-themes, right? And I knew this was going to happen, but they have been getting horribly dusty. In fact, let me go ahead and turn the, the lights on in here. And I don't know that the camera can really pick it up at all, uh, but these things are way, way dusty. You guys can see that. Let me kind of swipe my finger here. I mean, look at that. That is pretty bad. And the reason for that, why it's so bad in here and not so much out, you know, in the other other room is because, well, it's right next door to the utility room. So there's a utility room right there. So you have the blower for the air conditioner, the heater and all that, blowing dust and all that, as well as this being my workout room. So I use chalk a lot when I lift weights. And uh, this chalk, I'm always clapping it together in my hands and that goes poof all over the place and that settles all over this. Oh, and do you like the fact that it's uh, in a pick a brick, Lego pick a brick cup? Funny, huh? There you go. See, gotta use them for things like that, right? So it's pretty, it's versatile, very versatile. So what I gotta do here is I gotta get back to this just being the storage area for Lego boxes and Lego sets. These are all my sealed Lego sets up here. Um, I got some boxes right here on that corner and then I got a bunch, of course, underneath the city. So I'm gonna clean these guys up and I'm gonna get them out of here and I'm gonna put them back underneath the city uh, where they belong. And now I could put them back into storage. I don't really want to. I like having them out. It's cool having them out and displaying them and, and showing off the collection of people uh, as they come and visit. So that's what I'm thinking here, guys. That is what I'm thinking here with this empty area underneath uh, the city over here. Uh, and yeah, there are some pretty large totes over here. I don't think I'm gonna get every single one of these totes out. Uh, it's kind of nice actually having a lot of this because there's a lot of bulk in there. And you guys know, this is where I, I create a lot of stuff here. It's always a mess on my desk there. And uh, God, I need access to a lot of the pieces. And a lot of these are just like, like Lego sets. Like we have the Aquanauts in here and, and so forth, Aqua Sharks and other Lego sets that just cannot fit in the city. Uh, so um, anyway, and a lot of these are, are actually race sets, a lot of race cars and things like that that I want to get out. And I'm 
guessing are pretty, and, and uh, I don't know, pretty, probably sorry shape. We'll, we'll see what they are uh, when, we, when we get to that. But uh, so I'm, I'm trying to work on this area, try to free that up. So that is uh, a lot of this hopefully will fit in that other area there. And, oh, you know what? As I'm walking here, I noticed I got the haunted house out again. Look, it, it's back. I, I saw this area right here. This always bugged me, this area right here before. It was such an ugly area with the felt just kind of hanging there. Uh, and I thought, you know what? I think, I think that haunted house will fit there. And it does, just barely. Look at that. Although I will say that uh, some kids can probably just uh, get into trouble and just jump right on the roof there and wreak all sorts of havoc on that. But anyway... Pretty cool. So that is what I'm thinking here, guys. So I'm going to work on that. And then in the summer, I should be able to bust out a lot of uh, the, the, the race cars and stuff like that and get a proper race uh, raceway going on down here, as well as the space uh, sets as well. So you guys let me know what you guys think as far as the format should go. I don't know what I'm going to do with that uh, because I don't it, it's it's hard to find a hard surface for it. I think I've done pretty well with this. Like I've got like maybe at least two, maybe even three layers of felt. And then that helps me a little bit as far as my old man knees kneeling down on it. And uh, so it's a little softer because you have the, you know, the, uh, the plywood underneath it. That's kind of hard. Uh, so anyway, I'm just getting old. It's hard to walk around on my hands and knees. I tell you what. All right. That being the case, guys, let's go ahead. And at this moment, I'm going to grab some scissors and I'm going to finally, finally make those cuts. So let's go ahead and do that now. So what I think I'm going to do here is, uh, I mean, this is the biggest area right here, right? So I've got, got it untucked right here. You can kind of see that blue, pretty blue felt. And it should actually match the, the Lego on a lot of these castle sets. So that's why I'm really happy that that's going to match. So um, we have a water side of this castle right here. So what, I'll, what I think I'm going to do is cut right here and kind of follow along right there to meet it. And then what we'll do is just kind of follow it inland as far as we can all the way around and probably kind of take it right about, maybe right here, we'll cut. So we'll start with that, see how it looks. Can't believe I'm finally doing this. Oh boy, hope these scissors are nice and sharp. I mean, ideally we would have Lego doing this all the way around, right? But this is the, this is the, uh, cost-effective method, <laughs> I guess. Okay, keep that nice and tight. Okay, so far so good. Make it look as natural as possible. Okay, let's check in. All right, so there's the cut. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, yeah, oh, should look all right. I'll have to tuck this back in there and we'll have to kind of flatten this out. We don't want, <laughs> that's kind of the, the downside of the felt, right? Is it kind of has these little ripples in it, unfortunately, but we'll smooth those out here. Let's go ahead and finish up on the other side here. Okay, here we go. I think what we'll do with this felt is actually have the edge be underneath the castle. That way we don't have to worry about the, you know, having a clean cut, at least for this part right here. So let's go ahead and lift this guy up here if I can. Arts and crafts time, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. That's moving. That's moving. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. Here it is, guys. The, the big reveal. Oh, man. Oh. Wow. It certainly seems brighter, doesn't it? So got the edges uh, smoothed off. Got the, the green felt kind of tucked back in here at the corner. And uh, there's the edge of the castle there. I think it looks pretty good. Matches the water really well, doesn't it? Man, that's uh, can't get much better than that. It's pretty, pretty darn close. So I like that, and 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, around here, it's still, it's not going to be perfect. You know, I mean, ideally, this would all be Lego terraforming all the way around. Uh, like I said, this is the, the poor man's approach to, uh, to Lego building <laughs> or terraforming with Lego, right? Uh, I'm pretty happy with this. This looks all right. Uh, so what we got to do next is uh, we got to create some water in the back there because the castle in the forest uh, has a base of the same colored plates as this right here. So we got to figure that out next. Okay, so this cut wasn't as large or aggressive. Just did enough here to encompass the uh, castle in the forest here. Uh, did push it back a little bit further there and uh, uh, had to uh, redo a little bit of the pathway here that leads up to it. Uh, but right there, as you can see, it goes right up to the front of the castle, and it is completely surrounded by water. And that extends a little bit over to the uh, Lowenstein Castle there as well. I didn't go too aggressive with the cut behind Lowenstein Castle there, just enough that it gets to that dock right there. I could probably cut a little bit more around it, because I think there's a drawbridge right there. And uh, I don't know, I'll probably cut that a little bit later. But I uh, just did enough to, you know, uh, cover the basics with this uh, right here. Uh, let me crawl over here and, and kind of go over the plan here. Uh, well, the plan is I don't really have a plan. I was going to keep cutting because, uh, as you know, the Lion Knight's castle here does have a lot of, well, it's supposed to be surrounded by water. Uh, but I don't have a lot of this setup right here uh, or established. As you can see, it's basically covered all in felt. And I need to figure out where the base plates are going, where the trees are going, where other structures might go as well before I start cutting out uh, the water here. So for now, uh, pretty happy with the progress we've made so far. So before I sign off, uh, one more item of business is that we got to name this lake. And uh, what I'm going to name it is Falcon Lake after the uh, Black Falcons, right? I mean, the Black Falcons do occupy this castle right here along the shore. So I think that makes uh, pretty good sense. Now there is another uh, lake, although it's not as big, but it's back here. I think we need to grow that though. You know, I think we need to do, uh, do a little bit better on that. So uh, that'll continue to grow. But in the meantime, what do you guys think? What should we call it? Uh, should we call it like uh, Forestman Lake or something like that? Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. And uh, the, best, uh, the best suggestion will win on the next update. I will announce that. And also, um, this just popped in my head, but in my Facebook group, somebody had asked me the question if I was going to buy the uh, the Rivendale set. And I had no intention of buying that, as cool as it is. And I love Lord of the Rings, don't get me wrong. Um, but I wasn't going to buy it because, well, of the price tag, right? And uh, not really having anywhere to put it. Uh, but someone asked me if I was going to put that in my, uh, my castle layout. And I thought, well, no, that's not going to fit. It's too big. But you know what? As I was cutting out the, uh, the felt here, I looked at the spot right here in the back, and you know what? I think this is plenty of space for it. What do you guys think? I think that would actually work. I think it's like a, a two by six base plate uh, kind of size, and I think that would actually look pretty good. So uh, yeah, time will tell on that. So much to do, right? All right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your suggestions, your comments. It means a lot uh, that you guys keep coming back and watching my content. Uh, that's it for me today, guys. We'll have some more here in the near future, as always. Until then, you guys have a fantastic day, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.